no idea how I happened to run into this. Anyways, I had just got back from a doctor's appointment which I ran into a very interesting person. It was Steven Hillenburg, whom you all may know the creator of SpongeBob SquarePants, waiting to see his doctor as well. There was something off about him during my visit though. He seemed very shaky and just stuttering, whenever I said a single word to him, like if he saw something that shouldn't have been seen. I said. You seem to be worried. Oh, uh, it's nothing, I'm alright kid. He replied in his nervous way. I said in my cheerful voice. Well it was very nice to hear from you, almighty one. Kid, I'm giving you this tape an old friend and I made back in 2003, please get it away from me. He said. Sure. I said acting like nothing was wrong with him. He handed me an orange tape with copyright labeled 2003 retail. This strikes me very hard. Was this something we fans never heard of or something? I thought in my cheery way. When I got home, I plumped this baby in my old VCR, and it started like if it was a brand new DVD. Then I noticed an awkward thing about the little Nickelodeon fish that appears, before Spongebob was looking off. It was very rough and looked unfinished, as I can still see the lines in the middle of the model. Later, the intro came on. It was normal, except the letters at the end of the intro were a very light pink and the drawing of Spongebob had a sad or nervous impression. The episode started. The title was, Squidward Loses It, and it was in big bold pink letters. After the bubble transition, it had Patrick, looking very season one-ish, chewing on something hard and blue which had his teeth covered with red stains. This puzzled me, asking, is that blood? Or just silly old Patrick putting ketchup on his little dinner. The camera puts the view from inside his mouth which it really was blood. Then we see Patrick with a shocked expression looking out his window. Which was oddly weird, because Patrick never had windows, he lived in a goddamn rock. Outside had Squidward looking red from inside a big blue pile of rubble who walked out to see if Spongebob was home. He was, but he didn't say a single word to Squidward and just pointed to his best friend's house. The angry squid walked towards the rock and opened up too hardly to where it literally broke. Patrick poked his head up looking very scared when Squidward walked towards him. Squidward picked Patrick up from his neck saying, Quit messing with my life you piece of pig crap! This shocked me. I never thought I would hear the word crap on a Nicktoon, hey Arnold used it once but never again. Squidward threw Patrick across the room hitting the inside of his TV. Blood drawn from inside of the TV, as Patrick slipped out of it. Squidward still thought it wasn't enough. He got Patrick and pushed his head into his toilet and flushed it twice. He later finally cools down and leaves. The camera pans towards Patrick's body laying on top of his chair face down. Something tells me that he's not alright. We later cut to a scene, where Spongebob can be seen in a black outfit and locking his door with a grim look on his face. He sat down on the couch and looked at Gary sleeping. He picks up a book titled, My Friend Patrick, 1985-2003. We see pictures from past episodes from season 1, 2, 3, and an image that caught my attention that looked like season 4. This means that Patrick must have died after what Squidward did to him. SpongeBob bursts into tears nearly flooding his house in a cartoony fashion. The tears goes into Squidward's house which basically makes him pissed and his hot head drained all of the water out of his house like his superhero counterpart, Captain Magma. He walks into SpongeBob's house looking furious once again. He picks up SpongeBob from his head and squeezes his so hard that his fist becomes more detailed when he did it. SpongeBob's blood and heart slithered out of his holes and he slipped down to the ground. I've done it now. Why must these pills do this to me? He picks up some pills labeled, Stress Reef Leaf. He opened it up, throws the pills and lands it on Gary's shell. Gary slithers in a fast way under Squidward's leg and bites it. Blood can be curving from Squidward's leg. Gary later bites Squidward on the head until the cops come in with blood on their shoes. They look at Spongebob's dehydrated body and blame it on Squidward. We cut to a scene to where it shows two graves. One that says, Patrick S. Star, our little boy, and Spongebob's said, our favorite sponge, in some thick letters. Mr. Krabs looks at both graves and says a very creepy yet humorous joke. 
We all fall down someday, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Okay, I take back the humorous quotes but the creepy part is what I get. We cut once again to Squidward looking at both graves. I noticed that he was looking kinda bluer than usual. More like, the pilot episode. He cries, as he speaks this quote. The only two people who ever loved me are young. SpongeBob and Patrick, I must join you guys! He started to repeatedly beat his head on their graves, until he dies. Seeing that whole event makes me want to do the same. Squidward is later seen on top of clouds, hinting that he's in heaven, with a giant figure. The figure said these words in a deep voice. No matter what you do, you can bring your friends back from your own mistakes. I'm pretty sure they won't forgive you either. Squidward was later transported to a dark red place which looked like hell. He just sat there and cried for his two friends to come back to him. The episode ended from right there. After seeing that whole episode, I just thought, maybe it's time to quit with the sponge for a bit.